Hello, welcome back. I'm Lori Williams. And today I want to talk to you about how narcissists can actually be very helpful to empaths. So you see all over all, all the online spaces talking about how it's so hard to be an empath because basically you are a, like a, a victim that uh, of narcissistic abuse or of narcissists trying to drain your energy, this, that, and the other thing. Um, and I'm not saying that's necessarily entirely wrong, but I refuse to victimize anyone. We are not victims. Whether you're an empath or whether you're a narcissist, you have 100% free will and free choice the same as anyone else. So... When you have the structure of a narcissist and an empath, typically the narcissist is the one who is constantly taking, taking, taking from the, uh, from the empath. Um, and the, the empath is the one that's constantly giving. There is so much growth opportunity in recognizing why are you constantly giving? Are you a people pleaser? Is that why you're, why you're constantly giving? Are you trying to focus on someone else's needs so that you don't have to look at your own? I fit into that one personally um, for years and years. And are you you know are you a fixer? Are you someone who um just wants people to like to like you and to be accepted so that you that people don't leave you? Like do you have like a fear of abandonment? The truth of it is narcissists narcissists aren't necessarily picky they're going to go to anyone uh they're going to be drawn to anyone that they feel that they can manipulate and control in some way shape or form and whatever way serves them and then when they're done with that person they usually there's some big drama that happens and then they release that person um and it's usually the other person the empath's fault that's the the criteria <laughs> the step by step process of of a narcissist walking away now if you as the empath and i'm talking to the empaths here uh, mostly because if you're uh, uh if you are a uh if you're a uh, narcissist chances are you're not watching my videos that's the truth of it um narcissists typically don't want to get better so i'm assuming that everybody here is going to be or at least the mass the the masses the people that i'm talking to are the empaths so if you find that you're constantly attracting narcissists to your life you need to look at what is it that i'm not willing to look at within myself what is it that this person is triggering in me a need in me because it is a need in you as the empath um, that that i'm not willing to look at and it's time that you get very very real and very very tr like honest with yourself the other aspect of why you could, you could keep uh, you could be keeping these narcissists coming into your existence is because they're supposed to teach you a lesson, and the lesson could be, I mean, and I'm saying this is a simple lesson. Simple does not necessarily translate to easy. It is very simple though. It could be as simple as you learning the lesson of when to walk away, of when to say enough is enough. You cannot treat me like this anymore. So if you, if you keep finding that you're attracting these narcissists to you, first of all, you want to take the opportunity to heal. If you can, if there's something in you that attracts these, these, um, narcissists to you, it doesn't mean that there's something wrong with you. It could definitely mean though, that there's something there that needs to be healed. There is something there within you that you are avoiding or just not willing to look at in for, for whatever reason. You always have an opportunity to grow from this. Or like I said, it could be the lesson of learning that when it's time to walk away, when it is no longer healthy for you to continue to pursue this person and this relationship. And being able to know that, being able to know as an empath when to walk away, it's such an empowering thing. It's scary as hell. Don't get me wrong. It's scary. The first time you do it, you're going to be scared. Actually, maybe even times after that, you might be scared. It's so empowering, though, when you know when enough is enough. When you have learned through your multiple relationships with different narcissists what you're willing to put up with and tolerate and what you're settling for. And that is the biggest lesson a narcissist will teach an empath is where they're settling in their life. 
So instead of being angry at yourself for attracting, uh, attracting these, these narcissists or being angry at the narcissist for treating you the way they did, try to look at it from the perspective of, of gratitude of what did they teach you? If they didn't teach you anything, you're missing the point, And I guarantee you, you're going to keep attracting narcissists into your life until you learn that lesson. That's what we're here for on a soul level. We're here to learn the lessons. And if you're not learning the lessons, you're just doomed to repeat the same thing over and over again, but with a different person. I hope this is helpful to you today. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you back here next time. Until then, take care. Bye for now.